Hey folks, thanks for uh, joining us on a new episode of Puff of Cigars. We are continuing our Anihado uh, series as uh, promised. Uh, we are now on the third cigar of this series. Uh, this is the Parthagas Corona Gordas Anihados. This cigar, uh, as per description, uh, hand rolled and aged in Cuba for five years. Uh, perfect conditions and pristinely preserved, as you can see right here. A little, a little lumpy, um, also a bit, a bit of roughness, to be honest. And you can look at the texture. So this is a 5 by 58 the gauge is 46. Um, and described to be a full, uh, full strength, full bodied cigar. So this was launched uh, at the same time by Habanos. Uh, uh, well, when they launched, obviously when they launched the um, Anehado series, it was launched at the, the same time as the, uh, uh, the Hoyo, which was a 48 gauge and uh, about 127 uh, millimeter long. Uh, they were launched to the market as a unique uh, special edition and limited quantities and for one time only. And both they have been uh, undergone of an aging process of five to eight years. The Hoyo and the Portagas uh, were packaged in original boxes uh, with rings with the, and they added with the, the, the band here as you can see. Uh, through the aging process in cedar wood, uh, the cigar has matured, uh, becoming rounded and mellower to the palate with uh, touches of the delicate sweet and wood taste, described as to be in this fashion. So I'm going to go ahead and light this, get my opinion on it, get the taste buds going and share all that with you folks. Stay tuned. All right, folks, as you can probably notice when I cut the thing, uh, you can see here, uh, it kind of, uh, I don't know, but it's, it's okay, it's not an issue, as long as the uh, the actual uh, cigar itself is okay, the uh, cigar was lit, no problem, I'm gonna go through it right now, see how this goes. You can probably see the draw, no issues there. Uh, perfect, effortless draw, and mm. so, so far it's just earthy uh, with some woody flavor that they're coming together. Okay. Without going any, um, let me go a little bit more, guys. Let me do the first third um, and get back to you with uh, with the result. I mean, as far as right now, very smooth. I like it, very very smooth so far. So I'll get I'll be back with you shortly. Hey folks, thanks for uh, joining us back with the uh, first third of the uh, Partagas Gordas Coronas. Um, so far, you can look at it. Burn is okay. I have a little bit of thing, but I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna let it correct itself. Uh, I think, I think it will, to be honest, so uh, we'll see on that. But uh, very smooth, very, very smooth. No irritations whatsoever um, on your throat. Uh, silky, silky smooth smoke uh, when you take it out. It's like a velvety smoke you're getting. Uh, like I said previously, uh, the draw, I have no issue whatsoever in there. 
um, that, that dominant taste in the first third is really this uh, earthy flavor uh, with also uh, those uh, just you could say hints of smoky flavors also and, uh, and I'm detecting uh, as probably in the description they are right it's actually the cedar wood uh, taste that you are getting and these are the two uh, dominant tastes there's also hints of sweetness which I wasn't able to pick up exactly what they are um, probably hopefully by the second third it would unfold more and be able to get you that uh, we'll get you more info on it but so far this is what we uh, that's what we're getting on this one very good smoke honestly very very good smoke uh, we got comments uh, on previous videos uh, from Carlos mentioning that they are pricey. Yes, indeed, they are pricey. Uh, honestly, like I don't know if they are worth the price that we pay here in North America, but I would definitely pick up more in, in, in Cuba. If I would go for the price that they sell over there, I would, I would definitely pick up more. But to pay the actual full price here, you know what, so far maybe not. But then again, you know, if you can, why not? It's, it's something that you could smoke, you could try. Okay, folks, stay with me. I'll get back to you in a second. All right, folks, thanks for uh, getting back with us on the second third. Let me uh, recap a little bit what we talked about. Uh, when I started this, I told you guys that what I was picking is most, mostly the uh, earthy and woody flavors. Uh, since then, uh, you could say uh, the spices added added to it. Uh, now there's more spices, uh, but when you retrohale, uh, there's no bite. There's no bite on, 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 your, on, your, on your nose, on your sinuses. There, there's, there's nothing that, uh, that actually uh, bother you or, or, or anything that actually can, you know, just makes, makes it unpleasant. Uh, still smooth, uh, very pleasant to smoke. Uh, we didn't talk about the full body, uh, medium body, and all that. And, and it was described as full. Um, I disagree. Um, I'll probably have to say it's medium strength. I don't, I don't, I don't see that full, full, uh, full body cigar out of this one. Uh, I talked about a little bit of a hint of the sweetness that I'm getting, and I could say probably it's mostly on the uh, on the chocolatey taste, or the milk chocolate, or not the dark chocolate, because there's no bitterness. Um, in the flavors that uh, that you are getting so you could add to what I said uh, those spices probably like light light black pepper uh, very 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 light honestly like it's like I said it has no bite when you retrohale it doesn't uh, you don't feel the the uh, uh, burning sensations or, or anything that uh, that bothers you uh, so yeah yeah it's very smooth uh, flavorful you know there's a lot of uh, flavor, but second half, nothing is dominant. Honestly, like it's just coming where you can feel them one after the other, one after the other. Uh, those soft, soft flavors that, uh, that they come through. Um, so, so far, so good. This is about the, uh, it's about the, second, uh, the second half. Uh, as far as, you know, I, 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 you know, if you guys remember, it's a bit uneven. That's one thing, but there's no, no touch-up required. You don't need to do any touch-up. It corrects itself, uh, and that's, that's, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing about the, uh, the cigar uh, burn. So it's pretty much for the second half, folks. Uh, I'm gonna continue through. Uh, hopefully, in the, the last third, something else unfold. Uh, I'll get back to you with the closing uh, comments on this one. All right, folks, stay tuned. Folks, back with you, uh, the last third of the uh, Partagas uh, Gorda Corona. Uh, through the transition from the second to the last third, uh, not much of, uh, uh, of a change. Uh, we're still getting those uh, hints of, of pepper, uh, the, uh, just a little bit of, of the, uh, the um, uh, milk chocolate taste that it's there also that little sweetness that you detect uh, that's what it is uh, on a bit also of the uh, the earthy that is also still there the earthy flavor is consistent through the whole uh, cigar you pick that up from the first third through the second and the, through the last third it's still there um, that woody uh, woody cedary taste is, is actually no longer there. You don't you don't get that because once the transition from the first to the second, 
uh, you can when you start feeling those peppery notes it kind of like a way take takes over that woody taste it's still there but like I said none of the flavors becomes dominant uh, start from the second to the last third so overall you know what it's it's an it's it's okay it's an okay cigar but it's lacking uh, there's not much of a finish on that cigar you know you don't get that sense of of, of you know like oh okay you know what I'm, I'm I'm finishing up with this these notes this that so it's just lacking that just lacking a finish uh, it's not a bad cigar guys really not it's it's a good cigar um, so far three cigars in from the line. Uh, this probably gonna be you know what I'm not gonna rank right now I'm not gonna rank like I said I will rank them at the end uh, the last episode of the series will rank them one to five uh, but so far it's okay you know what it's an okay cigar not the top of it not at the top of the three so far but it's okay cigar uh, so that's it folks pretty much that's the Partagas Corona Gordas uh, overall a good cigar, very smooth, very light cigar, medium, medium bodied cigar, not a full bodied cigar. Uh, the burn, like I said, again, still not even, but it corrects itself. No need to touch up, no need anything. Uh, about an hour, an hour and a half cigar, you could say. Burns is the burn is slow, uh, and the 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 draw effortless from the start to the finish nothing has changed so this is it folks hope you enjoyed this uh, so that that would be a cigar uh, if you if you're if you're into that anihado you want to try those cigars uh, this is what you get out of the partagas uh, gorda corona hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, hopefully we see you in the uh, in our next episode so if you want to put a comment like suggestions anything guys we're open to uh, to listen and suggestion see you folks in the next episode thank you for watching